Hello all. Right, I've been trying to do this one a couple of times, just trying to get the cameras out. It's not so brilliant like, you know. And I want to do the one on the adaptive speed control. Because what we've got over here is we've now got adaptive speed control, which means that um, when it gets too near to a vehicle in front, it kind of, um, it slows down a bit. And at first I get it up because I thought, well in the old DAF I'd set it to like 56, a little bit more 50, then we come up 55 or what have you on the old steering wheel here. Um, uh, and um, it would just do that speed. And now this one, I'm, I'm, not, I'm driving along thinking I'm doing 56 or, for yeah, 56. Let's take this, let's get this taken, shall we? Right, so we think we're doing 56 and then suddenly, we're not doing 56 and we'll show you coming up now because the car in front I think is going slightly slow. So what it does, and I'm thinking, well, you forget about it. You think, oh, I'm not going so fast. But, um, and then you look down, you're not doing 56, you're doing like 50 odd. This is better slow down soon, otherwise we've got the brakes on. There we go, we'll put the brakes on for this one. But you, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I put the brakes on for this one anyway. But what it does is it, um, it gauges how fast the vehicle in front of you is going and then it slows down accordingly. So let's just try and show, well I can't show you now because I'm in traffic. But um, yeah, so it automatically slows you down. The problem with this of course is if you forget about it, you just sit there and you're thinking, I'm driving, I'm on my way to the next place and then sort of you look down and you go, I'm doing 52, I'm doing 50. And I've been doing 50 for a little while now. But um, if you're clever about it, it's actually quite nice because it just basically does the driving for you. It's kind of, like, it's Auto Cruise 2.0. But what I'm going to do now, so you see this is it down here. I'm going to clock this up. Make sure we still on my camera. Yeah, still recording. Uh, right, I'm going to clock this up to 56. But what it will do, because we're all moving now, traffic's moving now, as it starts to sense the vehicle in front, it'll automatically slow down. So as we can see, we, let's sit in the brakes, it's all a little bit too close. You see, you see the speed limit thing going down there now? It's automatically dropped to 50. It's carrying on dropping. It's dropping to 48. So what it's done is it's worked out that that vehicle is slowing down and it slows you down accordingly. And you can adjust this as well. There's a switch on the dashboard which we know about. And, um, right, now that vehicle's disappeared now, and it'll automatically accelerate again. That's quite nice, that worked out quite well. So you see, it's disappeared, he's gone off to the slip road. The speedo, because there's plenty of space with us in front, automatically speeds up again, and the speedo automatically jumps up to 56 again, which is quite nice. And that'll carry on like this until we get level with the lorry in front. And then it will slow down. The other thing we can do, we can adjust it. There's the, there's the switch on the dashboard and you can click it up. See that? Three meters, four meters. Click it down. Distance two meters. And what that will do is that's how it gauges the, diff, the distance between you and the lorry in front. So if you want to carry on, if you want to get right up close to it before you put out there to, to like, um, accelerate, you'd set it for two meters, one meters. I tend to leave it at two. Two works out all right for me. Um, failing that, you can set it to whatever you like, but it kind of works okay. It took a little while to get my head around it at first, because like at first I literally thought, this is no good. This speed control's not working. I'm setting it to 56 and it's doing 50. What's wrong with it? This is a new motor. But obviously, it's a, it's one of them thinky motors. We've also got um, adaptive lane control. So to move out of the lanes as well, but we'll come on that in a minute. But yeah, so I think I finally managed to get the footage that I need to show you how the speed control works. Like I say, there's a switch on the dashboard. You hit the switch on the dashboard, up and down, and um, there it goes. A way to drive safely in the process of taking care and taking money.